Anxiety and fear, that's what neighbors in the Southside community say they have been living with for years because of a neighbor. Police have now spent a third day searching Russell Tillis' property on Bowden Circle East. They tell us they discovered human remains there yesterday while acting on a tip. Tillis is already in jail on charges he attacked two police officers with knives. He has a long criminal history. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci has been at the scene all day and is joining us live with an update. Vic? And we have seen a lot of commotion throughout the day, but have gotten very few details. Detectives have been coming and going from this home. And at one point, I counted six different crime scene unit vans here. You can see there are still a couple in front of this house, a couple police officers still on the scene. They have been focusing their search mainly in the back of the home and put up a tarp this afternoon to conceal whatever is going on back there. We also saw Assistant State Attorney Richard Manti here. We saw the medical examiner's office here uh, with gloves and scrubs on back there. Meanwhile, a lot of neighbors are asking questions. They know that at least one set of human remains was found back here, and they're wondering what else could be back there. They say that the man who lived here, Russell Tillis, basically terrorized the community. They had so many issues, and at least two women who live on this street within a few doors from the home told me that they filed injunctions for violence. Basically, those are restraining orders because they said that this man continued to stalk them and make threats against them. I also spoke with other neighbors who say they are relieved to hear he's off the streets. What is your first reaction when you heard about this? I was shocked. You know, really close to home right down there, you know. Really scary. And this scares me a lot. I've, I've been here all my life. I'm a native and I have never experienced anything that's so close to home. So we have been asking homicide detectives for any kind of information about the body that they found yesterday, about who it may be, or about what other kind of evidence they're going through right now. And they've basically been telling me they can't go into any details other than to say it is a very large-scale investigation and they are going to be here for several more days, possibly through the weekend and into next week. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll delve much more deeper into this man's criminal history and find out some details about his disturbing past. Live on the South Side, Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.